In this how-to guide, I'm going to show you how to create a reflection in Photoshop. Now, this is a really, really quick and easy process um, to achieve. Uh, so let's uh, let's get cracking. First thing I always do: Command J, let's duplicate that background and hide that background. Now, if anything goes wrong, we've got uh, the original background layer to fall back on. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to jump over to the rectangular marquee tool. Let's select that. Uh, so what we'll do, before we do that, let's just zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. Right, so our rectangular marquee tool, we are going to draw a nice tight box around our subject. In this case, it's the car. We're going to go as close to the edges as we can. Command T to transform, hit return to select that transform, and then Command J to duplicate that transform layer. This is layer two. So let's just re rename that to reflect, because that's gonna be our reflection layer. Now whilst on the reflection layer, Command T, we're gonna transform this layer again. Uh, and this one, if you hit control, and select on the screen. I'm going to flip this vertically, it's upside down. Let's take our move tool. Oh, let's apply that first, that would help. Take our move tool, whilst holding down the shift key, just drag that down. By holding onto the shift key, we should keep everything in line. There, there we go. Okay, so the wheels are, uh, are touching. And obviously, it's not looking too great at the moment. It doesn't look like a reflection, so let's lower the opacity of the reflect layer to about 50%. There we go. You can have it more or less. And it's entirely up to you. It depends on um, on preferences. In fact, I quite like it at 22. So let's uh, let's leave it at 22%. Now, what we do, you can see that we've got this nasty line that goes across where our layers meet. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber tool find it there we go nice small small rubber head and i'm just gonna rub away the reflect layer but just follow the line of our background layer there just on the tire so we're not overlapping the tire at all so you see all of the time limits that thin line where the layers meet so we'll take that out as well and we'll just run that across now to see where this tire is slightly lower, uh, higher than this one, there's no join there, so let's not worry about that. And then take a line out there, because the opacity of this layer is a lot uh, is a lot lower than the, the main layer. If it was higher, you'd see you'd see the box around here, but you don't see that in this one because we've lowered it to uh, lower it right down. So let's come right out of that. Let's go to fit screen, and there you go. There is a how-to guide on creating reflections. It is simple as that. If you like these how-to guides, um, then please feel free to check out the, the YouTube channel, the Photo Receptor Cell YouTube channel. Subscribe so you don't uh, miss any further or any more of these how-to guides and quick guides that uh, are uploading onto, onto the channel.